Sometimes we use the term straight as a bullet, but strictly speaking, no bullet fired on the Earth's northern or southern hemisphere follows a straight line. So let's find out why no one is shooting straight, literally. And for that, we are going to place ourselves into outer space, right above the North Pole, and watch a cannon shell fired from the North Pole. So let's go and zoom into that region over here. Here we have this shell in the form of this red arrow and we'll be firing it along this straight line. So I'll start the animation now. There. Uh, you'll observe that as the shell is you know, progressing along its path, the earth is rotating underneath. So nothing surprising is happening. The shell starts and goes in a straight line. What is interesting to watch here is the shell's relative path as traced on the earth. So this dotted white curve shows uh, all the places or it connects all the places that come under the shell as it progresses on its trajectory. So let us summarize what we just observed. We observed one shell that was fired and it went straight. So the trajectory was straight and uh, there was no force, deflecting force acting on it. And this is quite predicted by Newton's law, which says if there is no force, there is no acceleration. So no deflecting force, no deflection. So Newton's law is essentially acting correctly over here. About this frame, we will talk in a moment. Let us now shift our vantage point. Okay? So we are going to observe the same interaction, but this time we are going to place ourselves on the earth itself. So the earth will be fixed. We will not see its motion anymore. And uh, let's fire the cannonball again here. And surprise, surprise, this time the cannonball is not going straight anymore, but it is following a curved trajectory. This is nothing but the relative path that we plotted earlier on the Earth's surface, this white dotted curve, and the shell is following it. This is what all the bullets and shells fired in northern hemispheres do. They take a right turn, and those fired in the southern hemisphere take a left turn. So let us once again summarize what we observed now sitting on the Earth, that we observed a shell taking a curved trajectory but still there was no force acting on it. There was no observable force that actually deflected it. So although we saw a deflected, uh, a curved trajectory, uh, accelerated motion, there was no apparent force that was causing it. And this is violation of Newton's law. We are seeing acceleration without a force. So Newton's law of inertia is violated here. Now, who is to blame for this? Well, it is the surrounding from which we are observing it. Uh, the technical term for surrounding is a frame or frame of reference. So a frame of reference or a surrounding where Newton's law of inertia doesn't hold good, it isn't directly applicable, is called a non-inertial frame. While frames where it, it works directly is called an inertial frame. The acceleration that we just observed is called Coriolis acceleration and it is experienced by all bodies that are moving in a surrounding or a frame of reference that is rotating. Finally, let us see the situation where we would encounter Coriolis acceleration in mechanisms. So suppose you have this slotted link and it is rotating about this point with angular velocity omega. And there is a slider which is sliding with velocity v on this rotating slotted link. In that case, the slider will experience a Coriolis acceleration given by 2 times the cross product omega bar cross v bar. Alternatively, the direction of Coriolis acceleration can also be found by rotating the velocity vector by 90 degrees 
in the direction of omega.